pig ear. I was just checking out this how my face looks really bright here, and really dark here. It's so weird in the morning how that works. Alright. No more watching my own face. Um Alright, I guess I should specify what I think. I think I'm manic. <clears throat> Maybe I'm bipolar. I don't think I'm bipolar. I think bipolar is people that are ignoring their pain and are getting angry a lot and then laughing a lot because those are two defense mechanisms. They seem to be anyway. Defense, emotional defense mechanisms is making jokes or laughing and you know getting pissed off and crying. It's defense mechanisms because we don't want to feel the pain. And I have been feeling a lot of pain and I haven't been laughing a lot and I haven't been crying a lot. So I don't think it's bipolar. Maybe it's like a constant state of mild mania, submania, like you said, submania. You you threw you threw out. You used another term, but I didn't know what it meant, and I went to watch it again. I didn't see it. I'd rather just talk to you, because the words, you know what? The words, the labels, they don't really matter. Who knows? I'm I do know that you can call it a disorder, meaning it's not what how the normal brain works in today's world. I'm cool with that. My mind is fucking crazy right now. The stuff that I'm saying, it's not even the stuff that I'm saying, so much as the way I'm speaking with people is crazy right now. It's so, it's different. It's so different. It's so different than what I used to do. And I'm like, I'm pushing it <clears throat> with people. I'm really not letting down I'm not, I'm not holding back, like with Amanda, okay, this relationship, the reason I'm putting all my eggs in one basket when it comes to this communication, the reason I'm doing what I believe is because I think that what I believe, speaking what I feel and what I think, no matter how much tension it may cause, is always better than holding back. And our relationship is getting better and better and better. The last two nights we hung out for hours. Last night we hung out for several hours. Yesterday we hung out for several hours. Two nights ago we had an awesome night. We've been like communicating and talking. We've made a, a compromise to, to I'm going to go see a therapist and she's going to communicate with her family. Uh, they, they're raised very strictly Catholic and they don't have a lot of communication. They've been... Uh, her whole life she's kind of been holding back because she doesn't want to hurt them. Can't live like that. Nobody wants to hurt other people. That's malice. But the fact that you're going people are going to feel pain when you communicate with them is out of our control. So what what do we do? I mean, what do you, what do you or anyone suggest that we do? What does anyone suggest that we do? Do we just not communicate? Should we just close off? I don't think so. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'd rather go for it. I'd rather say what I think. Who gives a fuck what happens? That's not true. I give a fuck what happens. And I think that if I say what I think, I can have control over what happens. I think the same goes for everybody. <sighs> um, yeah, and when you were saying, like, I don't make... I start my video and then I don't make my point. I don't, this is, I don't really have a point when I get on. I don't even name, I don't name the video until after I make it. I just start going and let out my thoughts, you know, and it's more about how I'm communicating than what I'm saying. What I'm saying is irrelevant. It's, it's the, it's the openness, the dropping the walls and letting go. Like, dude, when I'm on YouTube like making the videos it's meditation I'm not trying to communicate with anyone right now that's what MSN is for that's what my real life is for and my friends I have a lot of friends in real life that I hang out with I hang out with Michael I hang out with Kip I hang out with Rebecca I hang out with Amanda I hang out with Bob I hang out with I haven't hung out with Bob in a while I probably should I'd like to see him again he's pretty cool people on now I'm hanging out with people on MSN video chat Terry Swen Cherie the other night, that was pretty cool. That's communication. This is meditation. This, I realize, I think I realize now, this is going to sound crazy because I am crazy, but don't fear it. Allow for it. 
it's a different way of thinking and it's not wrong it's just I don't know I think it's maybe evolution people have to are gonna have to drop their emotional walls if they want to evolve or they're just gonna live in fear and die but my eyes man my eyes get wide and people are always like your eyes are so wide I think you know why I think they are they get because it points when I'm speaking when I'm communicating my eyes these days have been have been kind of everything's been because I'm not using them because I, I, I stop focusing on what I'm seeing and I'm just focusing on what I'm feeling it's like a sixth sense it must it's not I mean I, maybe that's what people are talking about when they talk about sixth sense but it's like when I'm talking to someone I'm listening Amanda keeps saying you have this crazy look in your eye Ian you have this crazy fucking look. I, say, I know this is how, and then I realize I think it's, it's because I'm not I wasn't looking at you I wasn't paying attention to what I'm seeing. I was feeling what what is happening, like what she was feeling. I was I was empathizing with it, and then I was I was like I, I was I knew why she was feeling it, or I could feel why. It wasn't like I knew it, and it wasn't like I knew what she was feeling. I felt it. I was feeling it. I was in the words. They flow. I don't really remember what the words are. The words don't matter. It's what you're trying to get across. It's about creating a bond that's what a relationship is it's not about passing of information we can do that through text I think when we're going to communicate one on one we might as well take advantage of it not the when I say drop the walls I mean there's one wall there's an emotional wall between every person and both people are allowing for that wall to stay up and it's either person can can drop it either person can can call the wall out can say look at this why is this here and it'll go away. And that's what I've been doing with Amanda. And that's what I've been trying to do with everybody. Hopefully I clarified a few things. I'm not, I don't get upset when people call me manic or crazy or what else, unhealthy. Would you say, I am Lakota? Hey, I am Lakota, by the way, the reason you think that I have been blowing it off, what you're saying is because it's text-based. It's not like I've been reading it, I just, if you want to communicate with me, communicate with me. Don't don't type a comment, and that's the answer. But don't take it personally. I mean, it's text. You can't expect text to change people's lives. It's up to us to do that. It's up to the artist, not the art. You can't make a painting and sell it to someone and expect it to change their life. Uh, you had a you had a cyclothymia, safe ballpark start. That's that could be. I don't know exactly what that is. You didn't specify. Um, yeah, sure. Mental disorder all over the place. Everybody's got mental disorder of some sort. I'm not afraid of it. Let it happen, you know? Let the human mind go. Let it experience stuff. See what comes out. It's in a safe environment. I'm not, I'm not looking for violence of any kind. I want to I wanna explore. And I'll be the poster boy. I'll be the whipping boy of this generation. I'll be the one that everyone can call a demon. Everyone can call evil. Everyone can call crazy. I don't mind that shit. Scream at me. Cry. Do whatever you want. But I'm not going to stop expressing what I feel. See ya.